All right, guys. So I actually wanted to make this video way before, but I kind of forgot and I realized this after designing the entire thing. So it's just a simple concept that I wanted to explain. Um, I should have recorded this way before, but I kind of missed it. So sorry for that. Um, but you don't have to worry. Uh, this is just going to be a video where I'm going to show something and you know, we're going to continue with the rest of the course, uh, you know, in the future videos. Now that you have designed something, if you want to visually look on how it looks on a browser, because this is a website, how is it going to look? So there is a website called figma.com slash mirror, and this is Figma's website. Obviously what it allows you to do is mirror your Figma frame onto your browser. All right. So all you have to do is once you log in, you just have to click on the particular frame and Figma is going to go ahead and do its thing. And it's going to showcase it on your browser. And now it looks like, you know, like a normal website where you can scroll and you can see stuff and kind of get a feel of how big or small things are. Now, but there is one small problem, which really isn't that big of a deal because this screen that I have is a 1920 pixel resolution screen, but we have been designing on a 1440 pixel screen. So what's basically happening is Figma is actually scaling this 1440 to match a 1920 pixel width, which ideally is not the, the right way to go about it. Um, but it gives you like almost an feel of how it would look. Now, if this was on 1440, it would look a bit smaller and it would look perfect. But since this is 1920, it's not ideally perfect, but it kind of gives you an idea, right? So you can go ahead and check it out. Now, if you want to see how it looks on a tablet breakpoint or a mobile breakpoint, you can definitely do that. So for tablet, you would have to open it up on in uh, on a tablet, like an iPad or, you know, like a Samsung tab or whatever, and check that out. You can log into figmamirror.com and log in and just mirror it over here. If you want to look at it on your mobile device, what you can do is you can download two free apps. I mean, just one free app for each device. One is Figma Mirror, it's, you can find it on Google Play and one you can find it for iOS. All you have to do is just log in, open the app, log into your account, and then just go ahead and tap on the uh, frame and select the frame. And that's going to mirror it on your device. And you can go ahead and feel how it looks um, on your device. Now, again, you might have an iPhone, which is 375 pixels wide or 411 pixel wide, but here we've got 360. It isn't the perfect resolution, but it kind of gives you a feel and an idea of how the design would look, right? So that's one small thing that I wanted to convey in this video. So in the next video, we're going to continue designing the rest of the interface. This was just a video that I had to, you know, put in the middle. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.